Hello everyone and welcome back to x 11. We are currently at Venice in the F-A-18F and I'm going to fly over Vienna and head to Berlin, continuing my flight around the world. I decided not to record the flight from Tel Aviv into Venice because it was mostly nighttime and so there wasn't much scenery to show. But so we're going to get to sightsee around Venice this time and there's a lot of scenery. Freeware scenery in Germany is readily available. There's some great stuff for Germany and I'm hoping the Alps look fine with the ortho photos that I got from ortho 4 xp So uh, here we go. Everything seems to be set. Takeoff time. Now we don't want to go particularly fast since we're sightseeing here. Okay, we are off the ground, and I want to go about 200 knots tops here. So, let's trim out a bit. Honestly, the autogen scenery on the orthophotos isn't half bad, actually. But, I imported scenery from Microsoft Flight Sim for Venice. And that's really good scenery. Had it for a very long time. Might have had it for Flight Sim 9 even, but I don't think there's better scenery for Venice, so... So this is the causeway. And I can't really name all the buildings that one would want to name when sightseeing around Venice. Not off the top of my head, but hopefully you can spot some if you know them. I'll do a few passes of the city. I'm also hoping that Autogen doesn't accidentally take the place of the real buildings. You can see some of that happening. Some of this stuff I suspect is Autogen occupying the wrong location. These look like Ologen buildings, but I'm not sure. We see a little church here, sort of surrounded by an Ologen building, so that's probably wrong. Okay, turning for a different angle over Venice. It's a nice day for sightseeing. We are still using real-world weather, by the way. I'm pretty sure Betty is really angry at me in the cockpit right now. Pretty sure the residents of Venice are not particularly happy with me right now either. Sorry about the noise. I'm sure there are planes flying over Venice all the time though. It is a tourist location and the airport's nearby. And I'm not running my afterburner or anything. Okay, I think we'll do one last go around and then continue on our flight. It's a short flight between Venice and Berlin, so we can... We have enough fuel for... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh... Was a little bit too optimistic about my flight handling there. <laughs> but saved it, saved it, saved it. We're alright. It stalled out. It's a little bit tough to fly this in the external view. <laughs> of course, I, there's data that I am not privy to when I'm flying from out here. So, not quite the pass that I was looking for, but... But we'll take it. And let's get a parting view of this leaving Venice. That's a good angle.
So yeah, we have plenty of fuel to sightsee. If you want to dip down and take a closer look at things, I'll try and spot stuff. I do have an external application that gives me a map, which is nice. Okay, but let's get back into the cockpit. Yeah, of course Betty is really unhappy with me. That was... Pull up. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, Pull hold up. on. Let me turn her Pull down. Up. Okay, so now we can continue. Let me program the GPS. Yeah, that one. Activate. All right, well, we have our plot, but it's only 415 nautical miles. And if we take a look at the flight data... Even at our paltry speed and altitude, we can probably cover that. This is uh, the range while reserving 2,000 pounds of fuel. Anyway, but we don't really want to go in this direction. We want to head to Vienna. So I'll be looking at the map to figure that out. So this is Italy away from the Vienna Lagoon. It looks spectacular, really. Yeah, so temporarily we're going to have to head east because, well, northeast, because Vienna is northeast from Venice. So actually going in the wrong direction temporarily, but that's alright. Well, it's certainly a nice day out, and, you know, the clouds are nice and all. They do create a little bit of a frame rate lag, though, and I hope they stay at a higher altitude so that we can dip below them. But still, the plane is looking great. Well, I see some foothills of the Alps sort of poking through the clouds there. If we take a look inside the cockpit, right now it says we have 619 range and, you know, we're overall getting closer to Berlin, but we probably should replot that because we're off to the east now. Uh, doop. And this is what the Alps look like right now. We are still over Italy. Close to the eastern border of Italy right now. Uh, to the right, down below there, if you can see the roads down there, that's the city of Udine. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it properly, but uh, U-D-I-N-E is that city down there. And you'll see some white patches on the mountains here. Those aren't actual glaciers or anything. That's just because the orthophoto had the cloud over it. And so there's actually clouds imprinted on the landscape. These are proper glaciers here. Well, snow anyway. In front of us, we have glaciers. To our right, we have clouds imprinted on the landscape. And considering how cloudy it seems to be right now, I guess it's unavoidable that they probably couldn't have gotten the aerial photos without clouds. Nice how the clouds dip into the valleys like that. That's really good. So I think uh, we're basically at the border with Slovenia right now. To our right here is Trig. Glavsky Narodny Park in Slovenia. Okay, we've been over Austria for a little bit now, but there's been a solid wall of clouds, or ceiling of clouds, if you will. Um, but here we have a break in the clouds, and we are passing over Althofen. A L T H O F E N. Actually, Althofen is actually still below this cloud right here. Uh, to our right, directly below us. But, in general, things looking fine. The clouds are breaking again. You can see the line of clouds right there, and to my right. And it's looking, it might be actually clear over Vienna right now. So, we're headed straight towards it, basically. And let's take the view from outside. As you can see, I'm descending so that we can get a better look. There's a river valley here, and I'll try and get the names of some towns we're passing by. Uh, 
According to the map, this one right here is called Glognitz. And then up ahead here is Turnitz. And the next one is a tough one for me. Neunkirchen. N-E-U-N-K-I-R-C-H-E-N. Uh, the highway to my right is the A2. Well, actually, it uh, only becomes the A2 up ahead at that junction, it seems. I think uh, the southerly branch is the A2, and then it, uh, this merges with the A2, I should say. And we're directly over the B-17. If we head in our current direction, we'd head to Bratislava. I'm going to take a left turn now to follow these roads, and that will take me to Vienna. Landscape looks absolutely beautiful. To my left, uh, the town is called Bad Voslau. And to my forward right is Ebrickdorf. Ebrick, Ebricksdorf. We are going to approach Vienna from the east and we'll just follow the Danube up. There's an airport up ahead here. I think it's only one of the airports that services Vienna, I'm not sure though. The one I'm familiar with is L-O-W-W. -W. But on my map I can't see whether that's this one or not. It's got the name Wein Schweckart. Maybe. Maybe it's L-O-W-W. -W. But this is to the east of Vienna, and the river in front of us is the Danube. Gotta try and get some distance. Unfortunately, the engine sound doesn't diminish when you zoom out. Once again, I'm afraid I don't know many buildings around here. So hopefully you guys will be able to spot them if you're familiar. As far as I can tell, this is the heart of Vienna. Sort of stadium sort of thing there. A bend in the Danube. Not too sure about this area to our right behind at uh, 4 or 5 o'clock. So I believe this is downtown Vienna. Sort of has a quaint feel to it. Certainly not an obnoxiously big city with all sorts of tall buildings or anything. Hopefully this is a good rendition of it. I haven't exactly visited in real life. Could probably have hunted for some images though. But I've always gotten the impression that Vienna wasn't uh, particularly packed to the brim place. I mean, this seems to suit my impression of it. Okay, so we're going to continue north to Germany. And we'll actually pass over Prague, I believe. So we'll be passing through uh, the Czech Republic, which I also should have ortho photos for. And then uh, from Prague over to Dresden area, and then Berlin. And then probably in another video I'll continue taking a tour of um, Germany, German cities, and then on to Paris. I, I would like to take a detour over to Switzerland because that's probably got some some good alpine scenery, but that's uh, quite a bit out of our way right now. By the way, if you do have particular planes that you would like me to fly, I can't guarantee it because obviously not all planes are adequately represented by freeware planes and I can't afford every plane on sale. So 
you know, I'll try my best, but if you have some plane that you would like me to fly in X-Plane 11, or some place that you would like me to fly over, uh, just to get a sense of the capabilities of the ortho scenery from Ortho 4 XP, or uh, other scenery packages that are available from the, the store. I haven't purchased any scenery for X-Plane 11, I can say that, uh, though some of them look very attractive. But, uh, yeah, uh, if you would like to give recommendations, that's fine, uh, though I make no guarantees, of course. Well, welcome to the Czech Republic. Um, no particular sites here, it is rural area, but we've got a huge cloud front in front of us. So, I don't know what we're going to be able to see over Prague. I'm about over the highway. You can see the highway uh, in front of me right now. I'm going to turn to the west to follow that highway to Prague and then we'll see how it goes I'll probably descend below the clouds to take a better look currently we're at 29,000 feet so plenty of altitude to give away well we're at 8,000 feet now and that's still a solid wall of cloud in front of us as we are approaching Prague now. Well, let's see how far that goes. Might have to do some low-level skimming. Alright, 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 alright. Ground level is about 1,600 feet. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep her quiet. Otherwise, we're gonna have all sorts of that. So uh, to my left is what seems to be the one of the main highways going in, D1, is the highway I've been following. Okay, we've got some serious buildings here. Let's take it from outside. Zoom out a bit. Seems to be a tower there, pretty obvious. Ground textures aren't that great because of clouds. Those white patches are clouds. We'll pass over the city center from south to north. Not too sure what that tower is called. So. According to the map, this is central Prague. Obviously a lot of autogen. Lots of these little castle-like buildings, actually. A bit of a duplication there. There's a golden-like building right there. And then the river bends. have this area to my right is called Carlin interestingly enough up oh, going too high getting some clouds here and the clouds are causing serious lag now not good or something else I don't know some some building or another is causing some lag maybe Sometimes that happens when they have really intense textures or something. And they get rendered into the scene. Okay, so just a quick flyby of Prague as we move on to Germany. Okay, we are now over Germany, but there are clouds again, so we'll have to try and descend below them to get a look at Dresden. Okay, we are descending down, and we're actually right next to Dresden. It should be to my right, but you can actually hear the rain. And I'm not entirely sure to what extent we're going to get to take a look at it. We're going very fast, too, so let's 
crawl down. Currently 5,000 feet above ground level. 2,000 feet and I I thought I saw a glimpse of the ground but not too much so probably not safe to I mean I can see buildings uh, with the haze there but I can't see too much so let's go up and seriously let's go up so no Dresden the VFR scenery for Germany is on the X-Plane downloads on the forum and it's by a fellow named Gunther Kremp and there are lots of VFR scenery packages for Germany uh, section by section and I would like to take a look at them but I also do intend to continue this flight with the real world weather and apparently it's raining here in Germany right now hopefully it'll be a little bit clearer up at Berlin we'll see we're not that far from Berlin though okay we're about 28 miles away from Berlin and I just broke through some clouds but right in front of us I see a cloud layer there that's even lower so that's not great I gotta slow down and let's take a look I'll keep it to the cockpit for now because it's gonna be tough flying we're approaching Berlin from the south and we're at about thousand feet above ground yeah the airports at the southern end so why don't I actually fly north and see if we can get a look at the city I'll go a little bit faster here because otherwise we're going to end up descending and needing flaps and everything. So we'll go the long way around. Okay, the town up ahead right now is Ludwigsfeld. Maybe we can take a look at it from outside. So passing over Ludwigsfeld, we'll turn north towards Berlin. We're basically following this highway here. And we've got a turn to follow on Halterbahn. On Halterbahn is to my left. Oh, we can see little cars on the highway. Seems like it's a railway line to my left. Highway to my right. Currently to my right is Grossbieren. Apologies for the pronunciation again. And I think the highway we're over right now is the B101. So let's continue following that. Okay, this area in front of us here is Marienfeld. And beyond it is Mariendorf. Okay, here we are. Welcome to Berlin City Center as rendered by Freeware, VFR Scenery, and Orthophotos. It's quite intense with all the buildings. Yeah, I think some of the buildings have serious textures on them, which is why it's causing some lag here. We can see some fancy buildings here. Seems like a duplicate of the same one. I'm not too sure about that. Park Inn? Hmm. Let's get another look.
So EDDB here is, is here, and then the alternate is EDDT. Berlin Brandenburg International, 7 and 25. So right now we're roughly 7. So let's go this direction for a little bit. Give ourselves some room. Okay, I think we can turn to the runway right now. Unfortunately, air traffic control is sort of not particularly good in this game. That's one of the downsides. Actually, I mean, from my point of view, it's a relief. It's not like I wanted to deal with air traffic control anyway. Yeah, still having trouble seeing the runway right now. Let's see... Zoom in, please. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's right in front of me. Oh, I, I think I got it. I think I got it. All right. Well, that was almost a bad move. Shouldn't they have lights on at this point? I mean, I'm just saying. It's not very... Nice to turn the lights off. Oh, uh, no, 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 yeah, I could have used more lights. Ooh, there's a train. And vehicles. Okay. Uh, oh, a little bit harsh. A little bit harsh. From what I've seen, that landing probably would have wrecked my plane in DCS world, which I'm going to be playing. I, I I am going to do DCS world videos just as soon as I get my plane unstuck from the grass. In that. <laughs> That was my first experience with the F5E getting stuck on grass. Anyway, we've arrived in Berlin and breaks off. Let me taxi a bit. But uh, having arrived at Berlin, I think I'll wrap up this video and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.